right, guys, this is the DeWalt DW734 thickness planer. Um, I'm going to be changing the or rotating the blades on this. Um, it kept overheating, turning off on me. Um, actually, in this old garage, it was tripping the breaker in the circuit. So I got to rotate these. Um, DeWalt has included tools here for doing this. Um, you're going to need this right here. I don't know if this is a T34. I'm not sure what it is, but they've included it here. Um, there's two screws on either side of this panel right here. I've already removed this one. Um, you got to remove these. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, other signs you need to rotate your blades or change your blades would be if you're getting lines in your boards when you're running them through or if it's feeding really slow or not feeding at all. Um, you probably need to rotate or change your blades. So set this over here. Uh, now you can see we've got, you probably want to wear gloves when you're doing this, but we've got the blades exposed here. Um, you can see this little dealy here. You can tip this back and then you can rotate this. And when you're rotating it, here, let me try this. You can rotate it, and when you hear a click, you know, we didn't hear it there so much. But it'll click into place and kind of locks it in place. Gives you the opportunity to come in here and and loosen all these screws, which I'm gonna start doing here. There's eight of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And once I'm done doing this, we'll come back to you. All right, so I got all these loosened now and removed. You can see this black piece here I did put gloves on which would probably be a smart smart move but this black piece here comes off and then that exposes your blade here now these be a little tricky This is why it's a good idea to wear gloves. There we go. This was the edge that I had cutting. And this edge should still be good right here. So I'm just gonna rotate it, put it in the other way. I'm gonna turn. Take my gloves off here and see how, just how dull that actually is. Yeah, that's pretty dull. It's no, it's no wonder it was having issues cutting. You can also see there's a triangle on here. I don't know if you could see that or not. Right here. That can kind of help you remember which way you need to have your blade rotated. Mine had the flat side exposed, or the flat side here cutting. I'm going to rotate it this way. And place it back. Make sure I get all this dust and everything out of here. All right. 
We'll take our black clampy piece here, place it back in here. Make sure you get these holes lined up properly. And then I'm gonna start in the center, work my way out. So get them finger tight, use the tool again and give them a good another half turn or so. Make sure they're nice and tight and secure. And then I'm gonna finish placing the other six in here and then I'll rotate it. As I mentioned before, you release this right here it lets you spin it and it'll click into place locks it like that and then you do the same exact thing on the next one and then again on the third one so that's pretty much all there is to it then you replace your cover here that goes into these screws into these two holes and you should be ready to go again. So I'm going to do that. And I got some boards to plan up here today. And I'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.